Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case. This is Skyflight44, aka Zek44. Today I'm playing some more Pokemon Silver. And this is partially randomized run. By that I mean all the TMs are randomized and all the trans Pokemon are randomized. I have not two Jigglypuff, Hoppip, Totodile, Mareep, and Houndour from the very beginning of the game. Mainly because eh, this is actually going to make it a bit harder. And I didn't like the fact that uh, one third of the playthrough I only had four Pokemon, and then in the last third, after being Elite Four, I actually got Hound Hour. And also, not two knows Psybeam, which, to be honest, I can't believe I actually got that. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Rocket Grunt? Oh, the music in this game is just awesome. I absolutely love it. Now, what do you have? Tyrope! Okay, finally! Something not two could actually be pretty good at. Now, I was going to be going and, uh, trying to make not two fairly, um, let's say, flying base like I had at uh, earlier. But I think I'm gonna be going. Now that I have side beam, I really don't need to pay too much attention to, you know, having a uh, fly and, um, basically just really fly and pack like I had last time, but, uh, maybe we'll actually get a flying type move that uh, Hoppip can actually learn. I doubt we're actually going to get headbutt. I really doubt we're actually going to get headbutt, especially early on, so... It would be wonderful if we could actually get something like Double Edge, because I believe that, um... Uh, Hoppip could possibly learn that. Because if worse comes to worse, I'm probably going to have to just allow it to be a Hoppip until it learns Mega Dram. That's level 30, but that would be okay in any other generation but this one, because... Level 30, you're getting close to getting to the Elite Four and going to Victory Road by the time you get to um, a bit past level 30. In any other generation, you could easily just go on. And you, you still have like half a game left when you're at level 30. I can't do that with Hoppet. I. I would love to actually go and get uh, Mega Drain early, but uh, sure as hell, not gonna have that happen. To be honest, I really don't know what's gonna be happening to Hop It if we don't get a uh, at least decent enough move in the next couple of uh, gems up to like the fourth gem. Eh, no, I'll, I'll keep it a little more. But, uh, I'm not necessarily asking for, like, a move that's incredibly powerful. Just something to replace Tackle. Something that can actually do some damage. It doesn't have to be as uh, powerful as Headbutt if it's uh, not a normal type move. I'm just looking for something that, uh, I, some reason I can actually use hop it. I mean, it's sure as hell not all that useful now. This could very well be something bad. Level 14. That, I hope, is... It looks better than the coughing. Coughing would have been terrible. But, uh, coughing does give out pretty good experience, so I wonder what it's gonna be out here. Nidorino! Okay, Nidorino! Maybe I shouldn't have it on, uh... Oh, that thing does have horn attack. Um... Uh, I... Possibly... I probably don't want to keep this out as a totodile. Damn it! it! It wasn't allowing me to actually go and do that. Okay. It is gonna do double K. So it does actually know double K. Now, damn it, it's not going to do double kick again. Because if I can actually get a rage off and then it does, uh, 
double kick. Okay, horn attack, I'm switching out. Total dial. Because if I could actually get a rage off, then get double kick, I believe double kick will actually, because a fury attack, um, I believe makes it so each and every single hit uh, will actually build up rage. So a uh, double kick probably would have done so. Yeah, at least the need arena would, uh, you know, good experience. I kind of do definitely need all the experience I can actually get. As I said earlier, um, just having all of these Pokemon from the very beginning kind of... Oh, shit. No critical hit. Good. All, having all these Pokemon at the very beginning and not catching them along the way it is going to make it so that really having any kind of, uh, it just leveling up to what I was before at the Elite Four isn't going to be easy. Okay, yeah, move out, Team Rocket. I wonder what Bugsy actually has for his, um, for all of his Pokemon. Not to mention, I also wonder what he'll actually give out for, uh, his... What was it called? Uh, TM. Now that I think about it, I'm kind of screwed when it comes to that rival fight in a little while. We know he's going to have a Bailey, but we're not, we don't know what he's going to have for everything else. Um, I'm going to see if Pound Hour can get a bit stronger. Just so I... Just so I know I'm not going to get completely screwed over. Now what do you have, little girls? Please tell me you have something different. Some of these guys don't have anything different. Magnemite! I lucked out! This would have been not terribly hard, but... Uh, not having Hound Hour at first would have made this a bit more awkward. Or a lot more help, I damn well know that. But they sure as hell gave out more experience than Letty Bun, Spinarak. And the other one has another Magnemite. I wonder what the rival has. I wonder what Matt has. Uh, hey Matt, what do you think you have? Tell me. Oh, a burn. Oh, and it missed. That's even better. Well, to be honest, nothing can get... I think actually having no uh, Ghastly is probably going to be bad, really bad for him, though. I very much like Ghastly Hunter and Gengar. Actually, the second generation's rival is pretty much the weirdest rival in the entire series. Given his actual team, it's not really... Uh, generally, there's always that, um, you know, War Pokemon, Fire Pokemon, a uh, Grass-type Pokemon, uh, a Flying-type Pokemon, and uh, two others. But, that's not the case with the second generation one. It was like a... On my normal runs, it's like Magnium, um, Crobat, Magneton, Gengar, Sneasel, and... Um, I forgot what the last one was. But, the... the looking to all the other ones and just... Are they really going to have a lot of Magnemites here? But, uh, if you're just looking into all the other ones, they always follow that same exact pattern. Which actually makes me... I, I very much do like Silver, and uh, he actually does have character development. A lot more when you, um...
look into Soul Silver and Heart Gold. But even in even in the original games, actually, to be honest, I there's a much better written story when you look at um, the rival than when you actually look at the entire Team Rocket story. I'll go back to... Uh, I'll always go back and just... I hate, hate, hate... Really, is gonna be all Magnum I see it. But I hate so much... Just what they did with Team Rocket in this game. You see Team Rocket, for the most part, four times throughout the entire... In the entire game. This is... What? Well over a 15 hour game. And you see the antagonist four times. You barely even see him. Even that one of them, you see him once. Only once. Come on. Okay, Jiggly, let's see if there's something else other than a Magnemite. I really hope it's not another Magnemite. If not, I'm just gonna... Oh, shit. What's with the gyms having one certain type of Pokemon? Oh, uh, no, not using the berries. Potion for the Hound Hour. It's like none of my Pokemon can really go and even have much of a chance against these guys. I mean, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff want to know something like Fire Punch. I, I, I was the entire reason I even had Jigglypuff in that one. Because I didn't have Hound Hour. Magnemite was actually, by far, the number one Pokemon. Good thing it wasn't used too much. But it would have been the number one Pokemon that could have beaten my entire party. Now, Mareep doesn't really have any kind of moves to really counter the Electric Steel. Um... The, the electric type attack would just go through Fraligator if it had the chance. Uh, same thing with Jump Left, and Jump Left couldn't do shit to it. And now having only normal type moves and uh, relying on uh, grass and uh, grass and poison uh, type moves that uh, you know just to drain your opponent's health. Don't think that. Uh, I don't think either of them work on a steel type. I know poison doesn't work on steel, but uh, I, I don't know if leech seed would work on steel type. Not to. He was using flying type moves. Even if I had psychic type moves, it would still not get through the steel. Actually, flying type moves wouldn't get through both. But Hound Hour could. You know, having the. Um, just having fire type move. Granted, for alligator could do so well past its uh well past Magnemite actually being a threat, but uh, you know earthquake and all. But it's funny seeing my nemesis being completely filled in this uh, gym. Hopefully he's at least like Faulkner and has something other than a Magnemite. I mean, I swear I went and randomized all of this. I tried making it so that they weren't actually going to be using the same exact Pokemon. I just... I got my wish. Hound Hour is going to be much stronger. I'm actually going to get through that Bay Leaf safely. Another Magnemite. Is this 14 or 16? 14. Really wonder what the last Pokemon is. It's probably another Grass type. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be Steel that they're trying to go and uh, use. If this was Electric type, they could have. They might have. Uh, Thrown in a uh, Voltorb or something, maybe a Pikachu. Uh, I believe it's randomized by types, 
So it's probably Steel, but the only two other Steel Pokemon I can think of, other than Magnemite and Magneton, is, um... Oh, shit! Hey, everybody! Who wanted to face a Magneton at level 16? I sure as hell did it! Oh, damn. And enough Thundershock. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. But, uh... Yeah, this is gonna suck. I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, shit, I really don't like this. Mareep can't do shit to this thing. Maybe it could do Leer until, uh, or, well, Tail Web until it was completely, you know, a joke, but... This is a freaking Magneton, a level 16, and faster than Houndour? Oh, crap. Okay, I won. There's, unless it gets a critical hit, it's not going to take out Houndour in the next turn. That was... that wasn't... The randomizer really threw me a fastball, but... Yeah, this is probably Steel-type. The only two other Steel-types I can think of in the second generation uh, were Skarmory and uh, Steelix, and that's basically it. Not The uh, Pokémon that's actually used is... Uh, Basically, the Pokemon change is uh, done by power, so you, they're not going to be switching a uh, Rotata with a uh, freaking Tyranitar. They're just going to put out the Lavatar. Okay, what's 49? So they really had no choice if they were going for Steel for this place to just really pump out the Magnemites. Crab Hammer! Okay, let's see if Crab Hammer can be used. Thought so. Really, Crab Hammer? Um... What can even use Crab Hammer other than Krabby and Kingler? Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. Still don't know what Matt probably has in his, uh, in his party. Damn well, hope it's not a Magnemite. That would be quite annoying. I, I won't lie there, that would be very, very annoying. I'm going to lead up with not to. Hopefully it's a poison type. I want to leave Total Dial in Reserve and Mareep in Reserve. Houndour, I know, is going to be going after that Bayleaf. Now, what do you have? Seal! Now, I'm... I don't think... I don't know, but I don't think Seal actually has... Uh, what was it called? any kind of... Yeah, I'm gonna go out to Marie. I don't think it has any kind of ice attacks, but... Just being cautious. It might have Powder Snow or something. Oh, it has Headbutt! Even worse. Just don't flinch me. Damage. Okay, don't flinch me. Yes. Now that's obviously... Maybe the actual uh, rival be more like the other rivals in the uh, future generations. Well, if the next Pokemon's fire type... Oh, he still has a Chikorita? Why does he still have a Chikorita? 
Wait. Oh, it is 16. Okay, Chikorita level 16. Really? Shouldn't that be a bay leaf? Okay, that's weird. I didn't really have to go and uh, be all, you know, all up and worry. Now what's the last Pokemon? It's gonna be the one that uh, completely um, exchanges it for uh, the Zubat. Hopefully it's not true. Oh, Meryl. Okay. It, is he going to be sticking with the... I uh, don't want to go back to Marie, but I'm going to have to go to Total Dial. But is he going to be sticking with the water types? I hope he doesn't. Oh, please don't tell me I was roll out. Come on, just go and hurt me, you little stupid mouse thing. To be honest, I actually want to use the entire rage strategy on a, on a mill tank. I mean... The last couple of times I played Pokemon Silver, I've been using this strategy for uh, quite a long time now. And it really hasn't failed me too much. Okay, Master Feed, and we're going to be going off into the Ilex Forest next part. I have to go back and heal. Mareep definitely needs it. Actually, Mareep's almost into a Flappy by now. See everybody.